What's up guys, I'm George Maha, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can build a temporary frame for your Maslow CNC. Check it out. We're gonna start off by cutting our two by fours into 57 inch, 53 inch, 18 inch, six inch, and 39 and three eighth inch pieces. We're gonna need two of each of these lengths cut out from our two by fours. Here's a quick diagram to show you guys how they suggest you cut that 2x4 so that you minimize the amount of 2x4s you'll need for, for these cuts. If you do everything right, you'll have a pile of wood that looks just like this right here. We're now going to cut two 5.5 inch squares from one of the sheets of plywood that we have. In each of these squares, we're going to want to drill a hole that the chain can pass through. Using a 5 8 inch drill bit will do the job. We're now going to attach a 39 3 8 inch arms to each side of the plywood at a 45 degree angle. We want to make sure that each arm extends about the same distance above the corner of the plywood, and then we're going to attach the arms to the plywood using the provided black wooden screws. Here's an idea of what the frame should look like at this point. All right guys, after attaching the arms to the sheet of plywood, we're now gonna attach the motor mounts to the arms. Um, just for clarification of the position on this guy, you want the hole to be facing you uh, the same side as the front of the plywood. So, uh, and on the top of the edge of the arm. So it's gonna kind of go like this with the arm facing towards you. After the motor mounting plates are mounted to the actual 2x4 arms, you're going to take the mounting brackets. The brackets are going to go right underneath that hole in the corner, facing towards you, facing the front of the plywood um, for the motor. So, check it out. After attaching the bracket, uh, be careful. The screws do go through the plate here. So, something to keep in mind is that um, not fake later in the design, maybe worth buying eight shorter screws to put into that spot. All right, so the next step we're gonna do is attach the motor to this bracket here uh, using this bag of screws that they provided. Uh, and then you're gonna attach the sprocket to the motor, um, a cup to the motor, actually it looks like it's already on here. Uh, that's this guy right here. And then also the chain guy. Okay, so when attaching the sprocket to the motor, all you're gonna do is make sure the teeth are facing out away um, from the flat end. And this area where the set screw is going in is gonna be on the flat part of the motor here. All right, um, now we have these cup hooks that we're just gonna put underneath the motor on the uh, longer edge of the two by four here. So the next step is we're gonna add a nylon um, guide for the chain and a long wood screw to the edge of the motor mount. Um, so it's gonna go right over here. It's important when we mount this that you don't mount it too tight um, so that this can still move freely uh, for the chain. So um, after finishing that one side of the arm, you're just gonna end up repeating the same step for the other side. So now we're gonna attach um, leg number three um, to the bottom of the plywood here. Um, and they mentioned that the wood, uh, the length of it's not gonna matter, so I'm just gonna make it, um, I think, kind of parallel with the top of the motor arm, um, making sure it extends enough to kind of be underneath it. Then we're gonna add a cup hook to each of these, um, the legs on the bottom, uh, and we'll go All right, guys, at this point, make sure that you have uh, applied the last couple of steps to both sides of your Maslow temporary frame. So you'll see on this side, I've attached also the motor and all the hooks and all the other parts that we have. Here. You're gonna need to do that for this next step where we're gonna actually attach a chain to the motor using these pins they provided. Um, and again, this is gonna be something where we're gonna do one side of it and apply the same steps to the other. So check it out. So you're gonna take the chain, you're gonna put it through the hole here. 
and just attach the sprocket pin. And that'll hold it in place up here. I'll leave it in the middle, that way it kind of bounces it out. So let me come down here, then bring it back up. You're gonna take the chain, wrap it around your sprocket, and then back down again. All right, so now we're gonna work on actually tensioning the chain. The first thing you're gonna do is take a, a chain sprocket here and one of your hooks, and on the bottom of this chain, put the sprocket in there and attach the hook. So to walk you guys through how we're gonna attach um, your string here, we're gonna make two knots on the end of it. There should be two sets of string, one for the right side and one for the left. Okay, um, so tie a knot on both ends of it. Okay, okay. So you're gonna take the two knots that you just tied, and you're gonna attach them to the cup hook up top, like that. Then there's a lower pulley uh, piece that they give you inside of the bag that you're actually gonna take and hook up to the bottom hook here. And then the string is actually gonna come around here. And then it's gonna come all the way back up. And then you're gonna hook it to the middle hook where the chain is. And you'll see that just tension the entire chain there. So at this point, we're gonna do the same steps we just did on this side, on the right side. And then from there, we can actually move on to attaching your router. So I hope these steps were helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it below. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. I try to get back to every single one of you guys. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I have more videos coming out on how to build um, the temporary sled for your router and how to calibrate the machine and then future projects, including other fun stuff that I'm gonna be posting uh, with my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching.